Hey guys, I've been raw vegan now for over six and a half years and looking back it's easy to see where I made a lot of mistakes and it, I still remember very very clearly not being able to stay stocked up. I remember that when my supply would dwindle and I wouldn't have enough raw food available it would be so much easier just to go back and eat a bunch of cooked food. So I want to make this video to give you five tips, pieces of advice so that you're always stocked up. You never have to go back to eating cooked food because you always have a good amount of fruit available. So if you use these five tips I guarantee you're going to succeed. Terry Dan, living lifestyle, learn about the benefits and start now. Eating from the vine and feeling divine. Fruit living with nature's design. Life brings you places. Life is gonna bring you places. You're in a spot right now, don't lie. You're in a spot right now that you didn't know you were gonna be in 10 years earlier. You did not know that you would be where you are right now 10 years ago. Life brings us places. But that's not what this video is about. This video is about, if you made it this far, congratulations, because now you get to the real meat of the video. This video is how to stay stocked up on a raw vegan diet, how to stay stocked up. Five tips to stay stocked up. First tip, always have these things in stock. Always have unripe fruit, always have ripe fruit, always have fridge food, always have frozen food, and always have dried food. You always want these five foods in stock. Fruits. There's five fruits in stock. Second tip. Second tip is when you go to the market to shop, before you go, take note of what you already have. If you already have like four bunches of ripe bananas, then when you go to the market, don't buy any ripe bananas. You already got four freaking bunches at home. So take note before you go. And then when you do go to the market, be sure to buy enough food for either that night or that day, and especially the next morning, maybe even the lunch of that morning. Make sure you buy ripe stuff as soon as you go to the market. Watermelons are always a good bet. Watermelons are always ready to go. They're always good to go. Here in Thailand, they're available 365 days a year. Um, if you're in America, oranges are always a good bet. Apples are always a good bet. You can get apples and oranges all year round. They're always ripe always ready to eat and if you eat if you spend 10 minutes eating them you get full so those are always a good bet uh, third tip would be when you do go shopping always shop hungry make sure you go to there and you're shopping hungry because as a fruitarian you're very likely to be in, very in tune with your body and when you're in tune with your body you don't want to eat when you're not hungry so if you go to the market or the grocery store and you're full you're not going to buy a lot of food and that's dangerous you want to buy and to my fourth tip, I'll get to that in a sec, but you always want to buy enough. You always want to have more than enough. So shop when you don't actually feel hunger on a raw vegan diet, but don't shop when you're full. Don't shop when you're full. Go to the market on an empty stomach and that'll guarantee that you buy more than you would have if you were on a full stomach. I can't tell you how many times I've gone to the market with a full stomach and when I get there, I'm like, I don't even want to buy anything. I just want to walk around because uh, I'm full. I, I'm done. I don't need anything. So my fourth tip, when you do go buy stuff, buy more than enough. Buy more than enough. You don't know what's going to happen. This morning I had a little rat come into my room, crawl through the screen, and ate some of my dragon fruits, some of my bananas. And if I was relying solely on those bananas, on those dragon fruits, I'd be screwed. You gotta have more than enough. Why? Because some of the rats climb in. Why? Because some of the ants and worms get in. Why? Because some of the things just start to mold and they don't ripen up properly. Why? Because Sometimes you meet a cute girl or a cute boy and you want to give them some fruit as a gift. Why? Because sometimes the cleaning ladies come in and you want to give them a gift. Why? Because sometimes you don't feel like eating a certain food so you're luckily you have some other food to eat that you bought extra of. So always have more than enough. You never know what's going to happen. It's always better to spend the extra four or five dollars than it is to end up with no food and be screwed and have to end up eating garbage or not being able to work out or anything because you don't have enough food. So always have more than enough. And then my final tip, my fifth tip, is buy often. Go to the market as often as you can, ideally every day, because that guarantees that you're always buying what you want in the moment. I personally go two or three times a week. Back in Canada, I was going, yeah, about two or three times a week as well. Because if you buy too much at once, maybe a week later, you just won't feel like any more avocados. Maybe you'll decide you're gonna go no fat, you're gonna go overt free. Or maybe you buy too many bananas and you're just sick of bananas. Uh, but it's good that you bought so many to begin with, like I said, you buy more than enough because worst case scenario, you either give it away as a gift or you freeze it and you blend it up into a smoothie later. So that's the good part about buying more than enough. If you buy more than enough, you can always freeze it and blend it up later. So at least there's that backup right there. But buy often because when you buy often, buy every day, you're guaranteeing that you're buying what your body wants today. You're guaranteeing that 
you're giving your body what it needs today. When I was in Phuket a few months ago, I'd go buy every single day and some days I'd buy like five bags of watermelon and some days I'd buy one bag of watermelon because I wouldn't want it. Some days I'd buy five dragon fruits, some days I'd buy one dragon fruit, some days I'd buy ten mangoes, some days I'd want one mango. Some days I want some guava, some days I want no guava. Um, it, it, it always varies. Some days I wanted a, like ten coconuts, some days I only want one coconut. So very, very in tune with my body. I felt very connected when I was doing that. Here in Chiang Mai, it's a bit differently. I just buy a whole bunch all at once and I hope I feel like eating those foods in that quantity two or three days later, which I never quite know, but the longer you're on this diet, the longer you are fruitarian, the more in tune you get, the more in, the more experience you have knowing what your body's gonna want in a few days time. But uh, you always feel best if you can just buy the food every single day. So, hope you got something in this video. I wanted to teach you guys how to stock up like a pro and uh, not wind up going hungry. Feeling divine, fruit living with nature's design.